all right things are looking pretty good actually I mounted the chair I got the bar on there works nice everything's nice and smooth but it's still way too low so what I decided to do I'm gonna put some 40 by 80 t-bar or extrusion and basically the way this gets gripped on is they call these t-nuts these are the bolts these have a little bearing in them focusing on that that bearing's on a spring it slides in and out it goes into that groove you can put it pretty much anywhere you want and it stays right in place it's really really convenient I also decided to put some VHB tape. If you decide to use this, when it's time to take it off, if you ever do, you're going to really have to work for it. It's called very, yeah, the VHB Very High Bond. It's an industrial double-sided tape. And as soon as it's pressed between two metals, somehow the molecules, whatever, interact. And this stuff becomes, it ain't going nowhere. So just to be safe so it doesn't move around, where I'm putting the bolts through, I drilled another hole here so I could put the longer piece, run them all the way down, and I can get this chair up another, let me see, so it was around five and a half inches, another three, so yeah, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, it'll be close to eight inches up. I think that would be enough lift. It still felt too low. I, I, I can't be sitting on the floor. Cutting this stuff, isn't very easy so I ended up using some of the uh, extrusion bar that came with the chair mount so actually the chair mounts that from from monster tech they came in very handy I just broke them down and I'm gonna use those use the EHB tape screw them down with the locking nuts locking washers double-sided tape and hopefully that'll give me enough of a lift that I'll be comfortable with this. And I'm going to do a video on a water-cooled 4090 this weekend. Maybe, if I got the time. And then I'm going to need some help with them MFDs, them, them displays, because I have no idea how them things work. And I got a ton of wiring to do. Cable. Cable cleanup. It's a mess under there. And then I'll get the sheet metal out and start building the whole housing for the cockpit <laughs> who knows anyways this is where i'm standing with this now i'll be back when this is complete hey how's everybody doing today i just want to do a quick video to this budget sim pit i guess you want to call it i wouldn't call it a pit just basically a skeleton <laughs> but you can get the seat mount on either eBay or Amazon for uh, Amazon's a little more money eBay it's like sixty seventy dollars Amazon's like 129 so I ended up going with eBay eBay so it was less than it was like 125 bucks and you got tax it comes with all the the throttle mount on the left the mount for the joystick on the right and it comes with a center post and the rear one as well comes with all three of those attachments that you can turn around and clamp or weld or cut or do whatever you want with and add them on and basically you can make brackets or whatever you have for say attachments if you have landing gear a pto or whatever whatever you may have I also picked up a small bar, well actually that bar I had, I ended up doing a little cutting and readjusting which I was able to put my stream deck on so it's right down in line. Of course none of the peripherals come with it. I had an extra seat hanging around, it's a few years old. I drilled a few holes in it, made some readjustments, it's a gaming chair. You may have one from a car or anything. I'd even like to get one from a car and put an electric seat type thing on it, but maybe in the future. So that's just going to be it. I'm going to keep it short. You can watch the video. Do whatever you like. If you find it helpful, I'd be happy. That would be great. You can see where it comes with the mount for the foot pedals, all the nuts, bolts, everything, attachments, quick releases. It's not a bad deal for spending less than $250. So hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and 
Everybody have a great day. Stay safe. Peace out.